Hey YouTubers, Mike Borch with the Mike Borch channel. Thank you for watching. If you are joining us from the previous video where we took the top portion of the engine off to gain access to the actual ignition coils, glad to have you. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out because we speed up the process in this video to replace the ignition coils and spark plugs and all the top portion of the engine is already removed. If you check that out, come right back here. We'll finish up the actual spark plugs and the ignition coils. and a quick view of the Chevy Colorado we are working on today. Hood is open and again in the previous video we walk you through how to remove the top portion of the engine to gain access to all the ignition coils and plugs. From here I'll give you the order. Ignition coil number one, two, three, four, and five. In the previous video we walk you through how to replace number four because we had a detected misfire and that one ignition coil replacement solved the problem which is awesome. At this point let's direct our attention to the most difficult one that will give us the most pain, ignition coil number one. I say that because look at this little bolt. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. You have them on all the ignition coils and by loosening up that bolt you can actually pull the ignition coil off the spark plug. However, ignition coil number one, it's a little tricky to access that bolt. And with that said, what I do not recommend is trying to pry this plastic case off that houses electrical wiring that feeds over the engine because we all know what's going to happen. You are going to attempt to remove this plastic case from the actual prongs and you are going to snap all the prongs while taking it off. And at that point, it's going to be a pain in the butt because now you have to replace that entire plastic case because if you don't, when you put everything back together, that plastic case is going to be loose on top of the engine and that's not good. So with that said, I want to show you something really cool. You can't really gain access to the bolt and get a secure connection. Do not strip it. All right, check this out. On the right side, just your normal Craftsman ratchet and then the 10 millimeter socket. Now in between the ratchet and the socket, we are going to use this quarter inch drive universal joint and check that bend out. This is going to give us the ability to position the ratchet and socket onto that bolt without harming or stripping it. Next thing we wanna do is remove this electrical connection point from your ignition coil. And don't pay any attention to this clip. Go down below, there is a little lever under here that you will push in and as you push in, Pull the actual electrical connection upward and that will come right off. And here it is all put together. I even grabbed an extension adapter. As you can see here, we just increased the ability and performance of this normal ratchet and socket. I'm going to position it into that little area there and position it on the 10 millimeter bolt. I'm just going to slowly loosen that 10 millimeter bolt. And the bolt is loose and out. From here, we wanna pull the ignition coil, and all it is, it's suction cupped on the actual plug. So you'll hear a pop, pull that right out, set that aside. From here, I've got the standard 5 8 magnetic spark plug socket. I'm going to hook it up to my adapter and ratchet. Socket goes into the actual hole, and align it properly on the plug, and go ahead and loosen up that plug. And again, the cool thing about this, it is magnetic, so once you get the plug loosened up, it will connect itself to the socket and come right out. So here's what I recommend. Take this plug that you just removed from your actual engine, take it to your local AutoZone, have it matched up so you can buy the actual OEM. As you can see here, this is an AC Delco and it has the part number on it. Go to the counter with this plug and ask for this exact same plug. By doing that, you won't get home with the new plugs and realize that you bought the wrong plugs. We are back from AutoZone. We matched the plug. Here's the new plug and there is a AutoZone gapper. And prior to putting this spark plug back into the engine, we have to properly gap the plug. Because if you don't, your engine will not run efficiently and properly. So with that said, depending on which make, model, year, and engine size, your gap may be different. You want to call your local dealership or AutoZone or get into your actual owner's manual to locate that specific gap for your plug. In our case, we have a 3.7 liter inline five engine and it is 0 0.40 or 40 thousandths. Here is our starting point, And again, we will shift it carefully and slowly to 0 0.040 or 40 thousandths. There it is. I apologize. I needed both hands to carefully shift that plug up the gapper to the 0 0.040. Now's a good time to actually gap all five or four or eight plugs or six plugs, whatever your engine takes. New plug is inserted in the magnetic socket and we are going to insert it in the hole. This is a very important part. You do not want to cross thread the plug onto the actual engine. Be very careful, be very gentle. Just make sure your plug is properly aligned with the actual thread. 
and you will know that real quick because in the event that it does not screw in hand tight for a good portion of it you are not properly aligned take it out and realign it after you've hand tightened it all the way down go ahead and grab the ratchet and secure it do not over tighten it after you get the spark plug secure go ahead and grab the new ignition coil we bought an AutoZone Duralast brand and the new bolt comes on the coil properly align that and what this is going to do is again act like a suction cup over the plug go ahead and insert it push it down make sure your actual bolt is in line with the hole and it is from here let's grab that 10 millimeter adjustable socket and secure this bolt ignition coil is secure let's go ahead and connect this electrical connection point ignition coil number one and four are replaced and now what we'll do is replace two, three, and five. And to speed up the process, I'm going to follow the exact same steps as number one. We are going to remove the electrical connection point, remove the 10 millimeter bolt, pull the ignition coil off the plug, remove the plug. And since we already got the plugs, that will speed up the process. We will insert the new plug and secure it, and then insert the new coil and secure it with the 10 millimeter bolt, and then reconnect the electrical connection point. I loosened up that clamp, pull the hose right off. And as you can see here, the remaining coils, I will no longer need this adjustable socket. However, what a cool tool to have in your toolbox for projects like this. Here's what it looks like with ignition coil 2, 3, and 5 removed. Let's go ahead and remove those old plugs and insert the new ones. Here are the old four ignition coils. Time to insert the new ignition coils. And again, we went with the AutoZone brand Duralast. Making progress, the ignition coils are on and secure and the new plugs are in. Now it's time to reverse the steps and put everything back together. Everything is put back together, all the hoses, the top portion of the engine, and the battery is reconnected at the negative terminal. In the event that you need assistance on putting everything back together, again that video scrolling at the top that showed you how to remove all the top portion and hoses to get access to the actual coils and plugs, go ahead and watch the tail end of that video. It will walk you through all the steps required to secure all the engine parts back together. Now's a good time to check the entire engine. Make sure you are not leaving any tools behind in the engine compartment. That would not be good. After the cleanup process, go ahead and start the engine, let it run for about five minutes, and then take it for a test drive. Engine runs and sounds good. I'm going to take her test drive. That's it, YouTubers. See a pretty friendly do-it-yourself project. Hey, do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again.